Hey Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to join me here today. It is Sunday, November 12th and you know Sunday sets the tone for the week up ahead so what can you do today to make the rest of the week just as amazing and wonderful as possible, right? Um, we will have one Crystal Visions Tarot, one Animal Tarot, one Angel Answers Oracle, and one The Language of Flowers. Now, please keep in mind that there are so many of us, so not everything may resonate, and that's perfectly okay. You know, we just set it to the side for later or for someone else even and you know we don't get too fixated on the date because you know whenever you come across this is when you are meant to and there's most likely a message for you here so all right let's see what we got going on and we have the eight of wands coming in here one of my favorites you guys um, um, you know, this is not letting anyone or anything get in our way or tell us what we can and can't do. You know, we're, we're standing strong and true in our own power and, you know, wands is fire and fire represents the power of taking action. And, you know, if, if you try to get in the way I mean, you would just get trampled on by by these horses. So, you know, like, don't try, don't try to stop me because <laughs> you won't get too far because, you know, I'm confident in, you know, the work that I'm doing and the work that I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be going, you know, I'm divinely guided, you guys. And so it wouldn't do any good to try to slow me down, harness me, or get in my ear and, and tell me things that aren't true, right? Um, you know, and for me also, like the Eight of Wands, I also always see the Strength card in my mind's eye. They're both eights. They're both, you know, represent five the element of fire uh the strength card is the energy of leo i am a leo sun and so you know it takes a whole lot of inner strength to get to this point you guys where you're like you know what i know who i am i know what i'm about and you know get out of my way <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we have the four of spring. The otter would like to be our guide for this week up ahead. It's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. And it could be all of the above as well. And I know that these two messages can seem like conflicting. Like, wait, I'm, I'm my power of action and now I'm being told to kick back and relax. But, you know... Like I was saying about being divinely guided, spirit lets you know, you guys, when it's time to act or it's time to rest. And you're going to know, you know, um, your, your body is going to let you know, your mind, your heart, you know, all of it works together. Your spirit especially is going to let you know, right? And, um... You know, celebrate your successes, celebrate taking action if that's something that's been hard for you to do. And, you know, if you complete a project, celebrate that, you guys. And if you're working towards laying that strong, steady, solid foundation for a happy home, you know, making sure the bones are good, you guys, you know, celebrate all of those things. You know, um, because that's what 
helps keep us going, helps keep us motivated and, and, and pushing forward. You know, we need that balance, you guys. And, you know, so in a way, it's really not conflicting when you choose to look at it from a balance standpoint and that you're going to know when and when not to, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, the angels are giving us some big happy changes here, yes, and you guys, you know, the last few weeks, it's been about releasing for me, you know, making room for these big happy changes, and, you know, even when things come up that need healing, and recognizing things and you know being quick to love instead of judge and um giving myself that room that space for grace and for being human and um choosing to be happy and you know seeing a lot of change and a lot of growth and not just in myself you know it's like it's spreading it's spreading out, you know, like I say, when we raise our vibe, we raise the vibe of our tribe. So definitely seeing that um, unfolding in my own life. And that just really makes me so excited there, you guys. Like, yes, bring these big happy changes. And we have Agapanthus, words of love, speak words with your heart so you know out of the goodness hopefully hopefully out of the goodness of your heart there you know um really taste and test your words season them with love you guys and um you know run it through your own self if it hurts your own feelings you know ask for the right words at the right time to be given to you so you don't wound or offend anyone you know i mean because once they're out there, you guys, they can't be taken back. They can be forgiven, possibly, you know, but they can't just be snatched back again. So think about how you would feel if someone said it to you is, is um, something that I've been working on myself. And, you know, knowing the right time, because, you know, it's not always the right time. And um, it takes a whole lot of, <clears throat> sorry about my voice, you know, discernment, intuition, and being in touch with our star player. <laughs> All right, you guys, these are our messages. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you. Make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to make a wish. I made sure I had it up today and ready to go. <laughs> um, I hope that we all have an amazing day and a wonderful week up ahead. Um, may all of your dreams and wishes and desires come true, you guys. You know, that's that's something that I hope for each and every single one of us. And from the bottom of my heart, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And I want to say thank you. Blessed be. Namaste and goodbye.